2022 is a difficult year for all walks of life. Especially in the automotive field, it has experienced a series of production capacity problems, but overall it still has good performance. As a country that has ranked first in the world in production and sales for 14 consecutive years, what will China do in 2022? First, I will give you a specific example. A Chinese working in Sydney, Australia said, now China-made cars are not only widely recognized by Chinese, but also praised by local people. When I have barbecues in the wild on rest days, the Great Wall H6 I drive is often surrounded by local people. According to him, due to the lack of local car brands in Australia, traditional Japanese, Korean, German and other car brands have a serious premium in the local area, but they have not made breakthroughs in car quality. The configuration of the same price is too low, and the price of the desired configuration is too high. Therefore, the car sales of the Great Wall Motors in 2022 are quite impressive, and the monthly sales in the store can reach up to 70 vehicles. Moreover, according to data, the annual production and sales of automobiles in 2022 was 27.021 million and 26.86 for million respectively, and the production and sales of new energy vehicles increased by 96.9% and 93.4% year-on-year. At the same time, the export sales of Chinese auto companies exceeded 3 million in 2022, reaching 3.111 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 54.5%, making it the world's second-largest auto exporter. It is a big breakthrough for Chinese brands. In the past, China's auto export data always hovered around 1 million vehicles, and it was not until 2021 that it exceeded 2 million vehicles for the first time, and it reached over 3 million vehicles a year later, showing a significant increase in speed. So, which countries did these huge batches of Chinese cars go to? Which Chinese auto brands are more popular in the international community? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Specifically, China exported 2.529 million passenger vehicles from January to December, a year-on-year -year increase of 56.7%, new energy vehicles exported a total of 679,000 vehicles from January to December, a year-on-year -year increase of 1.2 times. At present, China's cell-phoned brands are showing a rapid growth trend in export. The top 10 vehicle exports are, Saic, Cherry, Tesla, Chang'an, Dongfeng, Geely, Great Wall, JAC, BJ, and Sinotruck. The export volume of these 10 car companies was 2.514 million vehicles, accounting for more than 90% of the export volume of Chinese brands. It is worth mentioning that Geely and Cherry are the two brands with larger growth rates. Among them, Geely's export volume in 2022 was 198,000 vehicles, a year-on-year -year increase of 72.4%, Cherry's export volume was 452,000 vehicles, a year-on-year -year increase of 67.7%. So, where did they go? Data from the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers show that the top 10 countries in terms of cumulative vehicle exports from January to November 2022 were Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Chile, Belgium, Australia, the United Kingdom, the Philippines, Russia, Malaysia and the United Arab Emirates, with the UAE market growing 2.7 times year-on-year. -year. In addition, Belgium, the United Kingdom and the Philippines have become the top three markets for China's new energy vehicle exports. As for the main markets of fuel vehicles, they are still Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Chile, Malaysia and other places. This also reflects the fact that China's auto exports have now entered a new stage from the third world countries where they were the main exporters, and are able to respond to the needs of markets in different countries. For example, fuel vehicles continue to expand the markets of developing countries such as Asia, Africa and Latin America, 
while new energy vehicles mainly occupy the market share of developed countries such as Europe and the United States. On the other hand, this shows that many users in overseas markets have gradually turned to Chinese brand models in their choice. For example, Saudi users who were originally keen on Toyota have begun to shift their attention to SUVs and pickups from Chang'an and Great Wall. At the same time, in Brazil, Chile and other markets, Cherry has also successfully entered the top 10 position. As for Geely, Chang'an, BYD and other brands, they also showed strong growth in overseas markets. In addition, there are more new Chinese auto brands that have taken a fancy to opportunities in overseas markets and accelerated the pace of exports. To be honest, compared with traditional car companies, they have exported to overseas markets earlier, and continue to expand their layout in overseas markets. Personally, I still look forward to the development of new energy brands in overseas markets. At present, the development of new energy vehicles in China has occupied the first place in the world. For these emerging Chinese car companies, they are more willing to choose the European market with more mature consumer acceptance and infrastructure as their main target, mainly in the form of direct export. Among many European and American countries, Norway's policy is the most friendly. In addition to the official plan to stop selling fuel vehicles by the end of 2025, imported electric vehicles also enjoy exemption from import duties, free charging, and can drive on bus lanes without paying. With preferential policies such as city tolls and parking fees, Norway has become the first stop for some Chinese brands to enter overseas markets. Among them, I have to mention NIO and Xiaoping which were the first to be exported overseas. In 2021, NIO officially announced its entry into the Norwegian market, and then in October 2022 it announced its entry into the markets of Germany, the Netherlands, Denmark, and Sweden. In fact, Xiaoping has entered Norway earlier in 2020, but the results are not very satisfactory. Specifically, in Norway in 2021, Xiaoping G3 and P7 only delivered a total of 438 units, while in 2022, NIO and Xiaoping will both sell hundreds of units in Norway. One of the big reasons is that the delivery problem has not been well resolved. In fact, this also shows from the side that in addition to its own shortcomings, these brand new brands still need a certain amount of time for overseas users to accept, and there is still a long way to go. However, these brands are constantly developing in the Chinese market and occupy a large sales share in the market. If the same speed of development can be maintained in overseas markets, and the delivery problem can be solved at the root, I believe these brands will still have quite good sales results. At last, it has to be said that the models of Chinese brands are now well recognized in the global market, which is proved by the continuous breakthrough data of export volume alone. At the same time, the current global market is making efforts in the new energy market, which is an excellent opportunity for all Chinese brands. Then, let us see how the export volume of Chinese brands will perform in 2023, and will they achieve a breakthrough from 3 million to 4 million vehicles? Do you think China can achieve this goal? How is the performance of China-made cars in your country? Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.